Scorpios are without a doubt the strongest of all zodiac signs. And this is not debatable. There is no other that goes through what we do on an internal level and still rise from the ashes ready for the next chapter. In fact, if you haven't noticed, others lean on Scorpios for advice, deeper understanding of themselves and constant protection from all the ugly this world brings. Don't feed into the constant hate others have for our zodiac sign. I've actually learned to have a bit of compassion and sometimes pity for them because it must be difficult to witness a Scorpio's passion, traumas, then triumphs and wonder how we are able to overcome the worst life struggles without their help. They silently ask themselves, how do we do it? What do we have inside that gives us the ability to get up and dust ourselves off after the most horrific life altering circumstances? They'll never understand our true nature and why we can surpass them on many levels with ease. They're always watching, threatened, and secretly hoping we fall and stay down. Now, I don't believe everyone is out to get me. And I certainly don't believe everyone is out to get you. However, there are many people and most likely those close to you with the most access patiently waiting to see you in a weak position. Now, why would those close to you secretly want to see you in a weak position? What many of you fail to understand is others are on the sideline witnessing all your strength the very strength they've always had to rely on. So it's natural they'd want to see you weak in order to finally be in the power seat. Some of the things they want power over will seem minuscule, but to them it is a big deal. After 32 years of running long distance, I injured my knee in a way I'd never before. The pain was so excruciating, I couldn't walk up one stair without stopping. A lady who lived in my neighborhood, who I've donated food to for years, used to watch me run past her home every morning. I don't know what she thought of me after all those years, but when she saw me limping, she offered me a ride to the supermarket. And when I got into the car, she said, finally, I can do something for you. I have so many examples of others waiting to say, Finally, I can do something for you. Or well, the real translation is, finally, you need me. Some of these examples are considered small, petty things, but they're actually deeper. I remember a time when I had an abrupt issue and I had to move from my apartment and had nowhere to go. I ended up staying at my mom's house and a family member who's never made anything of themselves was happy as a clown to see me at this place, as this person always waits for my downfall. When they found out, they were the first person to come over laughing while saying, welcome back, as to say, get comfortable because you're gonna be here a long time. They talk so much shit about me behind my back to other family members, claiming how this so-called God was forcing me to be humble Literally, a week after I moved, my one bag in, <laughs> I had one bag, I booked the job on a hit television show, which would require me to work six days a week, 14 hours a day. I was literally up at 4 a.m. and out the door at 5, working my ass off, saving every single paycheck. I managed to save almost $10,000 in a relatively short period of time. Of course, I helped my mother with the bills. And then I found a new apartment where I paid two months rent and security up front, plus purchased all my furniture and other things that I needed with no problem. Something that family member could never do their whole life. When I rose from the ashes, I could imagine them at home upset at how I was able to create a way back to success from nothing when they have struggled their whole life, never able to reach the next level. Sometimes people will talk shit about you behind your back, 
And sometimes they'll toss shit right to your face with the intent to paralyze you so they feel comfortable. Some will use words intended to stunt your inner growth. And it may work for a while as many of you will begin to turn on yourselves after listening to them for a long time. I never turned on myself as I knew everything I was capable of. My whole existence was built around breaking down to rebuild and not one person could stop me no matter what words they strung together. I always remember no matter who wishes me ill will behind the scenes is really hurting in silence and it's never about me, it's about themselves. To your surprise, my mother even sometimes joined in as seeing me successful has always been painful for her because she never reached any of her goals. When others try to be the wedge between you and your greatness, it's only because they don't feel that they can be as great as you. And you know what? They're right. 